There's five common habits you should avoid when dealing with hip pain during pregnancy, and I will cover them in today's video. My name is Sophie, I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist specialized in maternity care and through my online program I support moms-to-be from all over the world to prepare their pelvis for an easy delivery and quick recovery. So if that's something you're into, I invite you to apply on a free discovery call with me in the description below so we can see if we're fit to work together. All right, so let's dive into it. The first habit you should avoid when dealing with hip pain during pregnancy is crossing your legs. Crossing the legs when sitting is something a lot of people do, myself included, but don't forget that when you are pregnant, there is this relaxing hormone in your body that loosens up every little ligament and muscle um, in order to allow your baby to grow, which is a fantastic evolution it's so awesome and we wouldn't be able to grow our babies if that relaxing hormone wasn't there um, but that means that everything is a bit more loosey-goosey in pregnancy right and you're more at risk of having your joints out of alignment if you're not paying attention to proper posture so as a general rule of thumb we want to favor a posture with good alignment and maximal stability to keep our joints happy so when you cross your legs, what happens is that your pelvis and hips are not as stable on your seat and your hips are not aligned properly and that can eventually lead to more hip pain. So really we want to be aiming for a nice V-shaped sitting position here for maximal stability, even though it's I know it's not the most sexy way to sit, um, but that's really how you should be sitting. The second thing to avoid to keep your hips happy is sleeping without a pillow in between your knees. Now, this is something I covered in my video about hip pain at night, but having a good thick pillow in between your knees to keep your legs parallel to each other is a great way to keep your hips aligned at night. There's pregnancy pillows like in a U shape that can be great for that. And you can use it as well to support your back at the same time. So I highly recommend them. Um, your partner may not like it as much because it takes a lot of space in the bed, but hey, it's just for a few months and you're the one suffering and carrying that baby around, so you deserve good sleep. The third thing to avoid to keep your hips happy is wearing shoes with no good support. Okay, I know this one is tough in the summer because it's hot and you've got swollen feet and all the shoes that fit you are flip-flops or Crocs, but honestly, a good shoe goes a long way in keeping you pain-free. Because when you think about it, your feet are the foundations of your house, right? So if your inner arch is not well supported, then your knees won't be aligned properly and it will go right to your hips, your pelvis and your back. And that can cause pain. So it's kind of like a domino effect, right? The feet is kind of the foundation. So investing in a good shoe that supports you well, even though it's just for a few months, would be worth it. Number four thing to avoid is walking on uneven surfaces. I'm talking about sandy beaches, snow, muddy terrain, or even simply a sidewalk where there's lots of driveways crossing the path and you end up with one leg higher than the other. All of these scenarios really challenge your hip stability during pregnancy. Um, if you can't avoid the muddy, snowy terrains, my suggestion is to use walking poles to get more stability. But honestly, if you have the choice between going for a walk on a beach versus on a paved path, choose the paved path. And the last thing to avoid is hanging on one hip while standing. Again, so common for people to stand like this, and I'm definitely one of them. But when we're dealing with hip pain, any little adjustment on your posture in the day-to-day -day life can make a world of a difference in your symptoms. So when you're hanging on one hip like this, your hips end up being out of alignment and that can easily trigger hip pain, right? Um, so you want to make sure that you're standing with equal weight on both feet and that your feet, knees, hips and shoulders are all stacked over each other. For myself, I notice that I start hanging on one hip, especially if I'm stationary for a little while, like, um, like I'm doing dishes or I'm cooking or I'm standing in line at the store or something. So knowing that about myself, I try to be more mindful in those situations 
and self-assess my posture. Um, so, you know, maybe today you can set an intention to be more mindful of your posture and see if you can catch yourself hanging on one hip. Um, so when is that exactly happening? Uh, can you fix it in the moment? And I also have a video about proper standing posture in pregnancy if you want to dig more into that. In my online program, I support pregnant mamas who experience a variety of pelvic health symptoms through their maternity journey. So if you're interested in more customized help, you can apply on a free discovery call with me in the description below. I hope these tips were helpful and thanks for watching.